In this video, we will show how to set up motor heating. We can use the motor heating as a pre-start function to heat the motor before starting. We can use it as an individual function operated from digital input. Or with field bus in combination with PTC or PT100 sensor. We will go through the following. 1. Why motor heating and how does it work? 2. Motor heating capacity, sets the heating power to the motor. Select a suitable value for your motor and application. 3. Three ways to control motor heating. Pre-start function and time. Digital inputs and PTC or PT100. Field bus. Why motor heating? Extreme temperatures or high humidity can negatively affect motor life in cold or humid installations. Internal motor condensation can over time, cause a motor to fail prematurely. For example, a motor that sits idle over a cold night can experience condensation buildup once the air temperature changes. This moisture inside the motor can cause ground fault slash earth fault trips or equipment failure. What is motor heating? The PSTX soft starter motor heating feature is designed to preheat the motor for more reliable starts in cold, humid, or moist environments. How does motor heating work? With the motor heating mode, the soft starter provides a small DC current through the motor windings, enough to heat it over time but not enough to start it. The PSTX uses a unique algorithm by sending DC pulses to the motor, one winding at a time, with a couple of seconds interval, then switching to the following winding to heat the motor evenly. When the motor reaches a user-defined time or temperature, then the motor will start up without any moisture. Benefits of using motor heating Using the soft starter preheat motor functionality will provide cost savings compared to a special order motor winding heater. In addition, the soft starter preheat motor functionality can be set up within minutes. Utilizing motor winding heaters increases project costs and delivery time. Before we start, let's look at some important information. You can also find this information in the PSTX installation and commissioning manual. How to set up the motor heating capacity. First, enter the menu. Select parameters. Enter the complete list. Navigate to motor heating. Here you can change the motor heating capacity. 50% nominal power could be good starting point. Set the value between 10, 100,000 watts. Press the up and down arrows to select a heating value. Push save when you have entered the value. Pre-start function is used so that the motor heating turns on before the motor starts up. The preheating motor functionality is accessed on the control panel by enter the menu. Select parameters. Enter the complete list. Navigate to start and stop push select. Navigate to pre-start function and push edit. Here you can change the pre-start function. Select motor heating function and push save. Pre-start time is also located in the start and stop menu. Here you can change the pre-start time. Smaller motors need less time, larger motors can need up to one hour or more. Push edit to change the time. Set the pre-start time delay between 0 to 7200 seconds. Use the navigation key to change the time. Press the right key to save the value. PSTX motor heating function can also be controlled with hardwire control through digital inputs. To set up motor heating through digital inputs, enter the menu. Select parameters. Enter the complete list. Navigate to internal IO. Push select. Select one of the digital inputs then push edit. Navigate to motor heating. Push save. To use field bus communication and motor heating together, go to abb.com and find your communication protocol manual, where you can find the correct functions mapping. Or if you are ABB internal customer then go to soft starter portal. 